this is the quick tutorial about DC motors. Here we will discuss how and why we use DC motors, their internal structure and working, types of DC motors, how we can control a DC motor and applications of DC motors. Why we use DC motors? A DC motor is a machine that transforms electrical energy into mechanical energy in the form of rotations. The internal structure of motor is designed in a way that when an electrical energy is provided to the motor, it rotates and converts that electrical energy into mechanical form. How it works? To generate mechanical movements, the DC motors have inductors inside that produce the magnetic field to generate rotations or you can say the mechanical movements. An electromagnet is a type of magnet in which the magnetic field is produced when we provide an electric current. It usually consists of a wire that is uh, worn into a coil. As you can see that when we place an inductor between the magnetic forces the repulsive and attractive forces will produce the turning effect. They will produce a torque. Here is the internal structure of the DC motor. DC motors have 9 basic parts inside. These have their different structures to run the system. Well, the very first is a stator, shaft, bearings, magnets, windings, rotor, commutator, brushes, and the terminals. Okay, let's start with the stator. The stator is nothing but the mechanical and outer structure of the motor. It provides the mechanical supporting and protection to the motor. The stator is the unmoving component in the motor. The next is the rotor, the rotatory part in the motor. Rotor is the main spinning part in the DC motors. The rotor in DC motor consists of coil winding. It is the part that uh, which holds the coil winding. When the rotor is powered with DC current, the magnetic field is produced. The rotor is surrounded by magnets so the rotations are produced in the rotor due to attractive and repulsive forces of the magnets. Brushes. The brushes in the DC motor are used to conduct current between the fixed part, the stator of the motor and the rotating part, the rotor of the motor. As the rotor is the rotating part in the DC motor, so the brushes used to switch the current position to the winding of the rotor. The commutator. The commutator in the DC motor is used to maintain the torque in the DC motors. The commutator is used to reverse the direction of the current in the windings, the armature of the DC motor. When the coil moves through the plane perpendicular to the magnetic field, the commutator reverses the direction of the current to keep the torque in the DC motor. How we can control the DC motor? The DC motors can be controlled with the H-bridge configuration. There are four basic ways, the forward, reverse, stop and block. Why we use the H-bridge with the motors? The DC motor needs current to run with the torque. The microcontrollers have very less amperes of current to run the DC motors directly. So we use H-bridge configuration. The edge bridge is used to control the speed, the PWM of the motor. There are some edge bridge modules like L298 edge bridge module or L293 3D IC based module. We can also make edge bridge configuration with the simple switches or using transistors. We will discuss about edge bridge configuration in another video. Types of DC motors There are four main types of DC motors Permanent magnet DC motors, series DC motors, shunt DC motors and compound DC motors Permanent magnet DC motors 
the permanent magnet DC motor uses permanent magnet to create their field flux. These DC motors provide great starting torque. These motors typically found in on the low horsepower running applications. Series DC motors. These type of DC motors carries large amount of field current because the internal structure of these motors. The armature coil is wanted with few tons of large wire. These motors have large amount of starting torque but does not have very good regulation speed. These type of motors are not good, not suitable for variable DC speed drive applications. Shunt DC motors. The armature winding is connected with the field in the DC motors. These type of motors have good speed regulation, suitable for regulated speed drive applications. Compound DC motors. These motors have separately excited shunt fields. The series and parallel connection of the field winding to the armature. These motors have good starting torque but not suitable for variable and regulated drive applications. Applications of the DC motors. There are so many applications of the DC motors. These motors are widely used in the DC controlled applications. Here are some of the applications of DC motors. This was the quick tutorial about how and why to use DC motors. We have learned some quick things about DC motors on a simple and easy way. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for quick tutorials and ideas. Keep learning and always have faith on yourself. Thank you so much.